this car started out kind of a kind of a joke amongst friends. Uh, it'd be cool to like LS swap a an 80s era Cadillac. Hey, this is Matt with American Powertrain, and we're here at LS Fest 2021, and this is the Chicken Coupe, my 1983 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. I had a car just before this one that I kind of took too far apart, and the project sat for about eight years. My friends got together, got tired of seeing it not go anywhere, and they bought me this car last March, right before the pandemic started. They said, here, now you have no excuse. Get the car done. So they bought me a rolling chassis, and I had most of the parts already. I had a, a 427 Warhawk crate motor that's in there at 600 horsepower. Um, I got a six-speed Tremec, obviously, because I work in American Powertrain, so we put that behind it. And I started building the car March of this year, a year later after I got the car, to get it ready for power tour. So Bear Brakes came aboard to help me out. We got Bear Brakes, 14-inch uh, rotors, six-piston calipers, full QA1 Pro Touring suspension for a B-body. This car is technically a C-body, which is an 11-inch longer B-body frame, but it's B-body front and rear. Uh, it's got a Frostbite radiator from Holly. I got a Holly mid-drive accessory drive on there. Holly split race manifold. Holly Terminator X, which was super easy to install. 48-pound uh, injectors, 1,000 CFM throttle body, and I have the new Holly filter regulator combo, which was really trick because my return line is that long. Holly really has everything you need to fully LS swap, pretty much anything that's rear wheel drive. Doing a B-body or stuff like this made it easy. And you can also use G-body motor mounts on these B-bodies and they work. And G-body headers also work. Which reminds me, I've got a full hooker exhaust system, so it's all black heart exhaust. The A-body three inch hooker black heart exhaust also fits this car too. I got American Racing Wheels 18 by 10 all the way around. I got the Holly 6.68 dash in the car, which fits perfectly in the stock Cadillac dash. It, it, it really rips going down the road, it rides great. It, it turns a lot of heads and it turns a lot of wheels too. So it, it, it pretty much, it hauls the mail, that's for sure. I, Nobody fixes up these Cadillacs, so I just, to me it wasn't a Camaro or a Chevelle, I just wanted to do something totally different, and that's kind of what led to the whole idea. I've, uh, I've embarrassed a couple of Corvettes already with this car, so that was a lot of fun. 